Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer with St. James Cathedral. My name is Claire. I am the assistant curate here for um, just one more day after today. So we'll be moving on. So this will be my last morning prayer with you. Um, but today we remember a celebrated teacher and abbot, Bernard of Clairvaux. He was a 12th century abbot who um, wrote quite a bit and preached quite a bit and was very influential in his time. So we remember him today, along with all spiritual teachers and leaders, as we pray. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is in his holy temple. O come, let us worship. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Now a reading from the book of Job. After this, Job opened his mouth and cursed the day of his birth. Job said, let the day perish in which I was born and the night that said, a man-child is conceived. Let that day be darkness. May God above not seek it or light shine on it. Let gloom and deep darkness claim it. Let clouds settle upon it. Let the blackness of the day terrify it. That night, let thick darkness seize it. Let it not rejoice among the days of the year. Let it not come into the number of the months. Yes, let that night be barren. Let no joyful cry be heard in it. Let those curse it who curse the sea, those who are skilled to rouse up Leviathan. Let the stars of its dawn be dark. Let it hope for light, but have none. May it not see the eyelids of the morning, because it did not shut the doors of my mother's womb and hide trouble from my eyes. Why did I not die at birth, come forth from the womb and expire? Why were there knees to receive me or breasts for me to suck? Now I would be lying down and quiet. I would be asleep. Then I would be at rest with kings and counselors of the earth who rebuild ruins for themselves, or with princes who have gold, who fill their houses with silver. Or why was I not buried like a stillborn child, like an infant that never sees the light? There the wicked cease from troubling, and there the weary are at rest. There the prisoners are at ease together, they do not hear the voice of the taskmaster. The small and the great are there, and the slaves are free from their masters. Why is light given to one in misery, and life to the bitter in soul who long for death? But it does not come, and dig for it more than for hidden treasures who rejoice exceedingly, and are glad when they find the grave. Why is light given to one who cannot see the way, whom God has fenced in? For my sighing comes like my bread, and my groanings are poured out like water. Truly the thing that I fear comes upon me, and what I dread befalls me. I am not at ease, nor am I quiet. I have no rest, but trouble comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. psalms. Our psalm today is Psalm 20. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend you. Send your help from his holy place and strengthen you out of Zion. Remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. Grant you your heart's desire and prosper all your plans. 
we will shout for joy at your victory and triumph in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now I know that the Lord gives victory to his anointed. He will answer him out of his holy heaven with the victorious strength of his right hand. Some put their trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call upon the name of the Lord our God. They collapse and fall down, but we will arise and stand upright. O Lord, give victory to the King and answer us when we call. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading from the book of Acts. Now there was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias. The Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, he answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and at the house of Judas look for a man of Tarsus named Saul. At this moment he is praying, and he has seen in a vision a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him so that he might regain his sight. But Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard from many about this man, how much evil he has done to your saints in Jerusalem, and here he has authority from the chief priests to bind all who invoke your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for he is an instrument whom I have chosen to bring my name before Gentiles and kings and before the people of Israel. I myself will show him how much he must suffer for the sake of my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. He laid his hands on Saul and said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on your way here has sent me so that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately something like scales fell from his eyes and his sight was restored. Then he got up and was baptized and after taking some food, he regained his strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now let's confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We offer our prayers for the church and for the world. I invite you to name whatever prayers are on your own heart, your places of where there's trouble, violence and war and discord, hunger and displacement. For those in our immediate families, and friends and local communities. For health and for flourishing life for all of them. And for our own community at St. James, I pray especially for it as I transition away from being with you all full time and head over to the Bishop Strong School. I will be missing and praying for you as I go. Pray for this time of transition for the congregation at St. James, that it would be a time where light shines, and where the presence of the Holy Spirit is felt walking alongside the community as they search for a new dean. And we pray for all those in the congregation who are sick or suffering in any way, for those who are 
growing old and feeling the frailty of age for all those who mourn. Remembering especially James and Eleanor and Frederick and Georgina and all the others who loved Dorcas and mourn her death. You pray the collect for this week. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and sent into our hearts the spirit of your Son. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service that all people may know the glorious liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. And Remembering Bernard of Clairvaux, we pray, Almighty and everlasting God, you kindled the flame of your love in the heart of your servant Bernard, so that he became a shining light in the midst of your church. Kindle in us, too, such faith, that by deeds of love we may show forth the light of Christ and rouse this present age to desire your perfect beauty. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.